As many as six villages have been affected in Meghalaya's East Khasi Hills district, where around 62 houses have been damaged. Close to 200 people have been affected in the said area. There are also reports for of heavy rainfall from several other parts of the hill state. In the wake of this situation, Chief Minister Konrad Sangma has asked the respective district administrations to provide immediate relief to those affected. My colleague Purbasha Bhattacharji joins us over the phone line for more updates. Uh, Purbasha, first and foremost, what is the situation in Shillong right, uh, uh, right now? Uh, is it still raining over there? And what is the forecast, the weather forecast looking like, Purbasha? Well, uh, as of now, it is not raining uh, in Shillong. If you see the more affected areas are in fact outside Shillong, if Shillong uh, is not much affected due to rain, it was a respite from heat uh, in fact here in Shillong. But if you see even in uh, Nongstoin block, 52, uh, yeah, it, 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 in Nongstoin uh, block, a large number of populations were affected, five villages were affected. In fact, because of this cyclonic storm. Or if you see that uh, in Maulene village uh, area, uh, 21 houses uh, were affected. So in fact, if you see that in the rural areas, it was more affected. But uh, as of now, in Shillong town, it was just a respite from the heat. Right and right and uh, Purbasha, uh, you know that we've also come to know that the chief minister has uh, directed the respective district administrations to reach out to the affected people and provide immediate relief measures. So, any update as on that front? You know, which are the places most affected and what is the extent of the damage to uh, house and other property? Yeah, we uh, we have seen uh, we have seen we got some pictures where we can see that. Most of the houses uh, were um, affected, like uh, their roof, uh, the, like uh, if it is a tin roof and all, it uh, it were affected. And because it was a, a cyclonic storm, so um, usually usually such structures were affected, which has tin roof and all. Such structures were affected. That's why I said that the rural area seems to be affected more. Uh, in fact. Uh, um, this uh, Nongklao and all these villages are affected in East Khasi Hills alone. Uh, we have th six villages and population around 172 uh, uh, um, population affected. So uh, if we see the number, it's, it's quite high. It's quite high, the number. But all these are in rural areas. Urban areas, there are no such uh, report as of now because we don't know how the thing uh, will continue. But there is a warning. There is a warning, and we were expecting. In fact, uh, everyone was expecting rainfall. So luckily, it has come. Uh, and uh, in many areas, even in Garo Hills areas, people uh, got uh, finally got respite from the heat. Ronak. Right, and uh, Purbasha, uh, lastly, very quickly, you know, uh, rainfall and traffic congestion often go hand in hand as far as the, the northeast region is concerned. And Shillong also, uh, in most cases, doesn't seem to be quite different. So is that something that we're witnessing in Shillong today as well? Uh, uh, Ronan, in that case, we have to say that today we are lucky because today is Sunday. So Sunday, most people prefer to stay in those uh, rather than going out in rain because uh, people don't have their offices and most of the shops are closed, people prefer to stay indoors. So uh, traffic jam is not a problem today. But uh, if, if the rain continues tomorrow, then we have to see uh, how is it. But as of now, being the Sunday, is it's, uh, actually there was no traffic jam.